It's nine o'clock on a Saturday The regular crowd shuffles in There's an old man sitting next to me Making love to his tonic and gin He said, son, can you play me a memory? I'm not really sure how it goes It was sad and sweet and I knew it completely When I wore a younger man's clothes Oh, oh, la, 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 Sing us a song, you're the piano man. Sing us a song tonight. Cause we're all in the mood for a melody. And you've got us feeling alright. Now John at the bar is a friend of mine He gets me my drinks for free Yeah, he's quick with a joke or a lot of pure smoke But there's some place that he'd rather be He said, Bill, I believe this is killing me While the smile ran away from his face Yes, I'm sure that I could be a movie star if I could get out of this place Whoa, oh, la, 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 Sing us a song, you're the piano man Sing us a song tonight Cause we're all in the mood for a melody Get us feeling alright It's a pretty good crowd for a Saturday And the manager gives me a smile Cause he knows that it's me they've been coming to see To forget about life for a while Or the waitress says they practice in politics While the businessman slowly gets stoned Yes, they share a drink, they call loneliness But it's better than drinking alone Whoa, oh, la, 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 la Sing us a song, you're the piano man Sing us a song tonight Cause we're all in the mood for a melody And you've got us feeling alright Thank you very much
song in my head Well, it was all that I had Hope was a letter I never could send And love was a country we couldn't defend We couldn't defend I was a plain Jane Just walking the sidewalks Covered in rain Why did you just get into one of your stories Me and all of my plain Jane glory Walking the sidewalks covered in rain Love was a letter we never could send And love was a country we couldn't defend Defend You were a photograph, I was a kid I sat with an ear closed just listening I was there when the rain tapped away Down your face, you were a miracle and I was just holding your space Your space Woo! Thank you so much Okay, so welcome guys. We're at the interview portion of uh, the Music Nest uh, Shimoni video. So here's Shimoni, the man himself. 
<laughs> Thank you for joining us here oh, on the Music Nest. Thank you very much for having me. Yeah, that was a great performance. Thank um, you. Yeah, you thank really you created a nice vibe. <laughs> it was lots of boogie, eh? Yeah, for sure, for yeah. sure. Yeah, a lot of happy dancers there. Yeah, 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 plenty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Shimoni is a, a traveling artist from Israel, and uh, we're here in South Beach, uh, Fremantle, WA, Australia. So. Um, yeah, uh, how long have you been here in Australia as a traveling artist? I came uh, one year and a bit, one year and two months maybe ago um, here to, f to Perth, directly yeah. to Perth from yeah. Israel. Yeah. yeah, okay, excellent, very yeah. good. And um, so you're a saxophone player, you're a guitarist, and you're also a bit of a beat maker too. Yeah, try, try my best with the beats. <laughs> yeah. no, oh, the sound is really good. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, yeah, well, I uh, play I uh, play saxophone, uh, guitar. Sometimes I also bring my um, my piano, and, oh, okay. um, and sometimes, rare times, I bring in my trumpet. Okay, the wow. Yeah, the trumpet was my first instrument, mm. and uh, obviously I sing as well, and have mm. this drum stuff, and um, yeah, start to loop that all together mm. uh, when I started the project like one year and a half ago. Yeah, it's a fantastic sound. And yeah, Thanks. you pull it off really well, like the multi-instruments and yeah, a great voice too. Thank you. Yeah, Thank yeah, you. yeah. Um, so tell us a bit about this project. Like, uh, so you're a traveling artist and you 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 travel in your van and you have all yeah. your gear with you. And yeah, well, basically I arrived here to Australia in a goal of collaborating with local artists. Mm. I started with local musicians and by the time I realized there's so plenty of different ways to collaborate mm. because plenty of different different artists came to me and um, exactly like this one actually mm. you know different artists from around the world yeah cool and um, yeah I uh, I bought most of my gear mm. and by now all of the gear has changed already because I just bought like the bigger brothers of, yeah, of yeah, each upgrading. One. Yeah. yeah that's good yeah it is yeah. it is um mm. it's just a bit much of equipment at the moment <laughs> yeah yeah i saw your van so. yeah well fair play to you yeah, yeah i think it's so important like uh traveling or musicians in general especially in this time to help bring the people together yeah yeah, yeah. it was one year ago that um we had like the covid uh, arrived one year ago mm. to here for like a very short time and i was basking doing the same thing here Mm. And some woman came to me and she said, listen, if the cops come and they tell you something, just tell them you like mental health for the neighborhood. Because there's like, okay. a, there's like a, a saying in the oh, really? Australian government that mental health is able, like it's essential. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, she's very friendly. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. never needed that. No yeah. cops, no. Yeah. Okay. yeah, they're easier going enough here. Yeah. That's awesome. So, have you found like a lot of artists to collaborate? Like, I saw you brought a few uh, singers up there. They sound yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. I, I I met. I know maybe all, only two or three of the people that came today, and the other ones just joined. Yeah. Um, I'm not doing that too often. Like, usually, I know the people that come and play with them, mm. and I invite them also up front. Like, I'm telling them before. Mm. Um, I have collaborated now with like 20, 21 different artists mm. um, since I arrived. And um, with some of them, oh, I actually, yeah, with some of them, I toured all the way to the to the northwest yeah. um, and back. Oh, and um, and we've been featured on newspapers and radio stations around. Oh, great! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So getting it was some big. exposure. It was big. I I started to do mainly this loop stuff and like having like big solo performance, mm. Mm. maybe like six months ago. Like really, ah, okay. really investing in my solo performance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. fantastic. Six months ago. Yeah, and uh, I saw that you recently uh, released an original track, uh, This I Promise, right? Yeah, This I Promise You. This I yeah. Promise You. Yeah, yeah, I love this track. <laughs> <laughs> it really <laughs> softens you. the heart. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, you guys got to check this uh, track out. Um, it's very beautifully shot as well. Thank it, you. It in shot Broome. In Broome, yeah. yeah in yeah. Broome. Yeah, uh, northwest of uh, of Australia. Um, yeah. I wrote this song. Uh, I think when I when I left Fremantle. Ah, okay. And um, it's all about Fremantle because um, the lyrics of the songs are like, um, "Can't you see you make me feel so comfortable?" Mm. And I don't know wow. how I lived before um, I knew you, and um, 
like as as we speak i feel like i even need you more mm. and um yeah. oh i see yeah okay yeah, that's cuz i th oh that well that makes sense yeah yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I i can resonate with that fremantle is definitely some sort of source for for people yeah. to get very intimate with people in an open yeah, space yeah yeah so. it was basically it was about fremantle but also because I had to think about a person uh, per personally to, to personalize the song because yeah. it's kind of feel like for a woman. Yeah, so and, that's uh, what I thought. Yeah, I thought it was maybe and, your, your lover. Yeah, and it's not far from the truth because mm -hmm. during COVID, um, I was a mess. I was like, I didn't have any any income because no one was on the street. Mm -hmm. And I was busking mainly and no gigs, obviously, because everything was mm -hmm. shut down. Right. And um, the, the cafe just here, yeah. Third Wheel Cafe and the bicycle shop next to it, they both adopted me and my van and they gave me a parking spot right here in front of the beach. Oh wow. And I lived here for like um, four months. Oh, what and a it was yeah. it was a parking spot with another space and the other space was just for me and I made it like a kitchen and a garden and a and a table and chairs Amazing. and everything. For Amazing. Three, three, four months, that's oh, what wow. I did. Well, yeah, I'll have yeah. to try and check that out. <laughs> yeah, I can show you a picture. I'll yeah. show you a picture. Unbelievable. Sure. Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. Well, the universe is definitely looking after you. Oh, yeah. well, yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. definitely. Yeah, amazing. So, um, yeah, what's in store then, uh, Shimoni, in the next few days, weeks, and... Yeah, um, well, this yeah, I promise yeah. you, the version that you know on mm. YouTube, that's like the, the really first kind of version, acoustic, also like I was recording and doing everything. Mm, um, okay. But um, by next month, I'm going to record a new EP. Yeah, that, uh, This I promise you is going to be over there as well, and go going to record uh, another single. Yeah, uh, awesome. of my loop sax kind of song. Yeah, yeah. and um, that's mm. gonna happen until next month. Um, and also planning a big tour up north again. And this time, mm. because we don't have the restrictions anymore about the borders with the other uh, mm. territories, planning to go to Darwin and then to Cairns and then on yeah. the way to Melbourne. Yeah, perfect. The big trip is about to begin. Yeah, yeah so exactly. getting ready. A d delay of one year, but yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, awesome. 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 Yeah. 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 Well, we'll have to keep uh, in touch. Yeah. yeah maybe yeah, we'll yeah. link up at some point. Definitely. Yeah. So yeah, you touched a bit about like the pandemic, um, like uh, like, and it seemed to have a big impact on mm. you. Um, so like, what what else? Like, how how did how did you uh, cope with the yeah know, with well, the lockdowns the, and whatnot? The thing that happened was um, I had this first um, first weekend of not getting any money from busking. Yeah. And um, by that time, I had I just arrived here, and I didn't have any. You just so it was how how long yeah, before the lockdown? I arrived, I arrived like maybe a month before the lockdown. Oh wow! So yeah. just yeah. yeah, I guess it was some way it's good timing, but yeah, in some way. Yeah, I, I, when I just arrived, I had plenty of like followers, and I had a gig in the hotel, and like mm. and lots of stuff happening, and then COVID arrived, and um, oh, and then wow. I had this one weekend of really getting no money at all. And on the same night, I was invited to the hotel, the sorry, the cafe manager mm. uh, house for a dinner. Mm -hmm. And I brought my staff because I thought, you know, that's going to be good, like anyway. And I brought yeah. my staff and I played. Yeah, amazing. And she was like, she was so amazed. And she said, listen, because even during COVID, the cafes were open for takeaway. Mm. So she said, listen, we're open like 8 a.m. If you want to come and busk. Because mm -hmm. we have plenty of people coming at 8 a.m. because yeah. that's the only place open. Right, yeah. And I did that the day after. And when I just started, uh, yes. a girl came to me and yes. put 20 bucks in my Yes, in my case. yes. I was like, yeah, okay, that's the... <laughs> yes. I found my spot. <laughs> yeah, amazing, amazing. Yeah, that was really COVID, like my, wow. my, my way of getting out of wow. this problem. Very unique, <laughs> yeah, very unique yeah, experience. Yeah. And people yeah. appreciate it so much more yeah, I'm sure. than music. Right, like, yeah. I have people still sometimes in my performances even in boom and other places came to me there was a guy in boom came to me and he said listen man I, I really want to tell you that long before i didn't know him he said i was living just up like the next building where you played during covid and mm. i was in uh quarantine yeah and i listened to you every day yeah, and well. that just made me feel so good although mm. i was in quarantine and i think it was sick even i don't know man yeah and um yeah oh. 
and very inspiring was, wow yeah, yeah it was crazy yeah well that's a beautiful story it just shows how powerful music is and yeah how, yeah, yeah how I, I tried to really use it i tried to use it as the language you know because it is mm. a universal language yeah right now yeah. it doesn't matter what lyrics you put on everybody probably like most of the people know the songs and mm. um just using that as a another way to communicate with of course yeah. a bunch of people like today yeah. that i'm probably not gonna meet on my yeah. daily yeah, you know, yeah but you already feel so close to them yeah, yeah yeah exactly well that's a beautiful thing about music that's what we're all about here yeah. bringing people together yeah you know? definitely dissolving boundaries yeah unifying the world cool so uh, um, a bit about your like yeah how do you uh, keep inspired and creative like in your in your day to day oh, life that's a do good have, question do you have a routine or just general life or maybe just traveling to be home? honest I'm a bit struggled with this um, with this specific idea because um, Mm. Because lately I'm doing my original stuff and recording that and mm. at the same time I'm doing lots of gigs of um, the gigs are most like cover gigs, you know, mm. and um, It's hard to, to keep being inspired and mm. I think my luck because I know about plenty of musicians that are like sick of it in some point mm. I think that my luck I have plenty of different stuff that one thing is that I have always the game you know it's kind of a game with looping and putting the beat and putting the sax and sometimes when I don't want to play any covers I just put something mm. just something random mm. and I just play with beats play with sax I did mm. that today as well yeah I really like those yeah. improv bits. thanks yeah, yeah, yeah I just really I was like yeah why not try it because mm. if I'm doing just a cover I'm kind of disrespect myself I'm like yeah because yeah, I can do first. so much more I can do mm. like I have the ability that just the tools to make mm. like great stuff yeah, yeah that's one thing that always keeps me inspired and the other mm. thing is to bring people with me and to mm. to have this other language other collaboration here with another with another um artist around mm. you and to hear what he has to say mm. and um because because that's what it's all about mm. we living we do music because what other people has to say mm. and i yep. play something that another people had to say and mm. i'm making my own interpretation but mm. I, I loved what he had to say. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, that's great. It really brings people together even more, right? It's yeah. not just about your own music, it's about someone else's music that I love, and yeah, then I can exactly. like add my own interpretation of it. Yeah. Yeah. I always try to put it not as my music. Yeah. I always yeah. try to, like, because it, it's yeah. really not me, it's not, it's yeah. not my name. Yeah. My personal name is Idan, and yeah. the project name is Shmone, and I yeah. keep it as my project yeah. name, yeah. Shmone, wow. which means the number eight in Hebrew. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. yeah, eight is also like infinity. Yeah, yeah, it's my lucky number. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Well, that's great. Like, I, I like the how you say you don't. It's not my music because, in some way, it's like you're not being possessive about something. Music yeah. is for all. You know, it's yeah, enjoy exactly. by all, right? And it's my experience. It's like, it's yeah. like it, it is my journey. But it's about the experiences. And yeah. It's about the collaborations. It's yeah. way more about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> well, I think that's it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for thank coming. You on so much for <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Well, we'll share all the links and where people can find you uh, online and all Jeez, that. Yeah, and if I get some collaborations from around the world, that would be. Amazing. Yeah, well, Amazing. we have a huge uh, roster of music nest <laughs> artists. I'm sure yeah. they'd love to link up. Always happy to spread my saxophone to you, guitar, vocals, yeah. everything. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Cheers. Awesome. All right, guys. <laughs>
Thank you. 